Hey y'all, it's Kristen. I thought I would do a video about what's on my desk right now, like what I'm doing right this second. Um, I'm filling orders for the seed package, which I really, really appreciate you guys ordering. As a matter of fact, I may have to stock up again, even though I just did, which is fabulous. Also, I was taking pictures uh, for Instagram of these little pockets that I was working on with Laura's snippets. Um, I'll show those in just a second. I she is selling snippets of Chanel over in her shop, and it's great because then you can make little things like this. So I'll show that in just a second. Um, let me move this out of the way because I wanted to show you something else. I had a few orders of the Viewmaster reels, and look at this. Isn't it great? I got a pretty good deal on these. It wasn't an amazing deal, but it was better than, you know... Some of them, but one of the orders that I got came with this, and it's a, it's from the 1950s. I actually have oh, hang on, I have the uh, instructions. Just a second. Here are some other ones that it came with. Um, that's not it. Let me find the instructions. These little booklets came with it. Whoops. I kind of tore that. Is this it? Yeah, this is, these are the instructions. Isn't that cool? Let me open it up. This is a real list, like, gives you a list of, I guess, all of the ones they had back then. I don't know. A bunch of travel ones, some Bible story ones. Anyway, here's a, a whoops, some of the different things. I'm gonna let you see the pictures, but I just thought it was really neat. And this Viewmaster, I mean, it is in really good condition. Of course, Selena was like, You need to sell that. And I was like, But wait, I just want to play with it for a minute. So anyway, I was getting some orders of that ready to go, and also I have to, hang on, I have to get together some uh, greeting cards. I had to order for those, so I thought I would look through these. That one's pretty cute. Actually, I think I'll send that one. Well, the top is torn a little bit. Hmm. Let me put that one right there. She ordered the variety kind, so I need a get well, a birthday. Here's a best wishes one. Oh, I didn't even show it. There you go. And that's pretty. Oh, there's a note in there. A letter, birthday letter. Let me see. That's from the fifties. Yeah, some of these have tape torn like right there, which is just a little bit aggravating. Let me see. That's pretty. I'll leave that out too. And then I also need an anniversary one. That'll work. Is that the one I want to do? Maybe I'll do that one. This takes me a while because I'm like, would they like that one? Or would this one be better? That one's pretty. Maybe I'll do that one. That looks a little older. Here's the kids' ones back here. I wonder if she would like one of those. Well, 
that's kind of cute. I think I'll do that. And maybe send her an extra one as a thank you. That'll work? Okay. So now I want to show you some stuff I've gotten in the mail. So just a second. Look at these. These are very old Bart's Bees flower seed packs. Look at that one. They're from like the 1910s, I think. So I think what I'm going to do, because I paid quite a bit for these, but I wanted them really bad. I think what I'm going to do is scan these since they're so old. I think I talked about that. I did when I was showing those uh, top loading envelopes or whatever from Amazon and I said I wanted to do that uh, scan these and put these digitals on the tops of them am I making any sense at all so anyway I thought these were so very pretty and I think that's what I'll do all right so there's that I got this flannel fabric with the birds on it for the baby books I thought that was really pretty then Oh, these are pretty popular in the shop and just, I don't know, using them. They're old labels. These labels, they're flower, they're seed labels from the 19, early 1920s, I believe. So, I've never had the vegetable kind before. I've always had the flower ones, which I'm about to go get some more of the flower ones because I'm almost out. But these are really, really neat. And like I said, very, very old. And I think I got like, I don't know, a lot of them. There's some radishes. So you see. Okay, so there's that. And what is this? Oh, I had some viewfinders that didn't have sleeves. And I really like these sleeves, you know, that the old ones. They had some on eBay that were just blank, white, and that's fine and all, but I really like these. These are a little bit hard to come by because, I don't know, nobody just has the envelopes. But anyway, I had some, I don't know what I said a minute ago, but I have some reels without envelopes, and that's what these are for. And then look at this. Isn't this lovely? This is a very old ledger book. Um, how old? I do not know. Let me see. Just a minute. 1896, 1895, uh, 96, 97. Yeah, it's from a Sunday school, a church Sunday school class or something. So, I mean, I just thought it was lovely. The writing's great. Can you see from there? Look at that. Just really pretty paper. So, okay, I'm not going to get all caught up in that. I'm just going to put this back up. But anyway, there's quite a few pages in here. They're all used, but that's all right with me. Roll call, 1899. Look at that. That handwriting. Okay. So, just a second, because I have a few more things to show. Okay, from Laura over at Laughing Dog's Book Nook. Hi, Laura. Um, I contacted her and I was like, do you have any embroidery? Because I didn't have very much. And she was like, I sure do. So she sent me some. I'm supposed to be paying for it. She was like, I'll get you a listing together. I haven't yet. But I do have the embroidery. But these are, I mean, really, really pretty. I'll just go through this right quick. It's a piece of a quilt. Just little things you can collage with. This is a handkerchief. Look at that. Okay. Ooh, look at this. I missed this when I was looking. This looks like a uh, pillowcase. But look at that. That's beautiful. 
um, this piece of pink that will go great in a baby book. You could probably even stamp it. A little piece of that. This almost feels like tissue paper. It's not really tissue paper. It's something else, but it's got paper doll things on it. It's cute. You could cut that up and do something with it. Piece of this. Oh, these are these are nice too. You can stamp these, and they have the little trim down there at the bottom. They all have little edging at the bottom. That's pretty. It's a big piece of something. Oh, that's a bird, a peacock. There's a flower on it. More flowers over here. We have some more napkins and things with that on the bottom of it. A doily. Another napkin. And this is nice. I like this so very much. I don't know if you can see it very well. I'm going to try to put my hands under it so you can see. Can you see that? Isn't it pretty? And then this. I think you can see that. This is a big tablecloth that has the embroidery imprint on it. You can do it yourself. So I thought that was cool. Anyway. Let's see. What else? Oh, there was a... Uh, where is that thing? Just a second. I'm missing something. I was playing with this the other day. And I was like, what did I do with it? This is a uh, We Are Memory Keepers punch board. It does squares and rectangles. And you can... I don't know. I've never had one of these. So... That's what it looks like on the side there. Like what the thing looks like. But Laura said she had two of them. I'm trying to get my planner organized. So that would. It will be lovely for that. So there you go. So thank you Laura. I really appreciate it. Anyway I'm going to link her down in the description box. Because she has the snippet packets over there. I forgot that I didn't actually show. The snippets. <laughs> I was like wait I'm forgetting something. Yes I am. Look at these. Aren't they great? I mean, there's all kinds in here. And, well, I showed you the pockets. See, I forget. I mean, I this video is kind of like edited together, so I'm kind of forgetting. There's some of the rosebud. I mean, there's all kinds. It's great for making those pockets or covers or whatever you want to do. So, and it's a reasonable price. So I will link her, like I said, down in the description box. All right, now, boy, this video is just a hot mess. Um, I ordered some things, slash got some happy mail from Selena. This that I've already put in this box, she was had, I, she was cleaning out some stuff, and she was like, "I've got, some, I've got, gonna throw these away." And I was like, "Have I taught you nothing? I mean, you don't throw that stuff away." So. She sent this to me. It's just pieces of lace and uh, crochet trim and just whatever. I mean, you can use that in all kinds of spots. So, thank you, Selena. And then, she sent me this. This is a cover of a ledger that would be a great... Um, is this all in frame? I hit my phone a minute ago, so it might be all wonky. Okay. So anyway, this is the cover. It's got a few, a couple of pieces in it. It's from 1895, I believe. So let me move this stuff out of the way. But it's really cool. I'll hold it up a little bit so you can see. There's the date right up there. It says 95. I think I found the date actually. Let me see. 1886. So I don't know. But it's very neat. There's a couple of pages back here as well. Look at that writing. Isn't it pretty? Okay, so I got that. And she sent me some of these bags, which I think are beautiful. These are vintage. And she went through heck trying to get these too. 
but uh, those are very pretty. And then we have some of her, and I think she still has all this stuff in the shop. I, I could be wrong about a couple of things. I'm not exactly sure, but these are popcorn and cookie bags, and aren't they cute? There's a pickle one. I like that one, too, with the elephant on it. Peanuts. There's a squirrel one. Clown. That one. And these are cool. Look at that. It's big, too. See? Really big. That kind. And this big jumbo one, which I'll just leave down here. You can see. So, I love those. Very, very much. Thank you, thank you. Then I got a little book, Prayers for Boys and Girls. I don't know what that, there's the um, copyright, Roman numerals, anything over 19 or 20 and I have a hard time with, so there you go. And then here's some trim, which I used the, this a lot when I was making those boho pockets. It's very nice. Then here's a book called My Favorite Book. I think this book it's not very old. It's like from the 80s, I think. 83, I believe. But it almost looks like a Dick and Jane, kind of. And then we have this cover, which I thought was gorgeous. It says photographs on it, but I love the embossing or debossing, whatever. I don't know. One of those. I like the right stuff, but it's just got this... Uh, Construction paper type scrapbook paper stuff in here, but I thought it was really pretty and This is so very cool. It's one of the railroad um, Time books she's got in the shop or she did I don't know you never know with Selena These are from 1911, but it's got like 28 pages of That says daily distri distribution of labor And also at the front it's got this kind of thing Month of November, 1911. It has that. And then at the back, I think, there, did I say it's 28 pages? And then it says that Patrick certifies that everything is correct. And then there's a telegram also. Isn't that cool? So that is lovely. And then there's also some baby wrapping paper. Okay, one more thing. I got these. Now, I already have two of these. I use these a lot. And these are the uh, New Century Dictionaries from the, I think it's the 40s. Might be the 50s. Let's look. But they're the picture ones. They're the really old 52. The original copyright was 27. So, these have the pictures in them. I like these dictionary pages. These are my favorite. So, they're a set. And there are two of them. I mean, they're thick. You see that? They are big. So, like, this one goes up to, like, M or N or whatever. And the other one, or it could be this one. You know what I'm saying. It's a two-volume set. And plus, the covers, I've actually... Can you see the cover from there? How it's got that the book on it. Lord, I hope you can see that. In my camera, it looks like it's dark. But anyway, these are very cool, and I actually started a Harry Potter, Potter journal like, I don't know, two years ago using one of these books, one of my other ones. It's exactly like this. So, one of these days, I'm actually going to work on it some more. But I think that's all, guys. I think. I might have missed something. If so, I'll do it in the next haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you so much for watching.